The first of the Time War survivor Daleks encountered by the Doctor fell through time and crashed like a meteorite, on the Ascension Islands. The Dalek lay in its burning crater for three days, screaming the entire time, before it was retrieved. Its weapon systems inactive and its outer armor heavily damaged, the Dalek was sold at private auction and passed through several hands over the next 50 years. In 2012 it was acquired by billionaire Henry Van Staten who nicknamed it Metaltron. It sent a distress signal to the Ninth Doctor and his companion Rose Tyler. Upon Rose's touch it absorbed a small amount of her DNA, using the Artron energy of a time traveler's DNA to revivify itself. Breaking out of confinement, it went on a rampage, only to realize that its absorbing Rose's DNA had caused it to begin mutating into something different, something new, a Dalek human hybrid with the swirling thoughts and emotions, and the reluctance to kill, of a human. Refusing to become impure, and unable to cope with the independence of mind that was coming to it, it ultimately self destructed. TV. Dalek. Toward the end of the last Great Time War, the Dalek sent a time capsule to 70 AD Earth in order to spread the Dalek factor amongst the humans to use humans to build more Daleks as backup for the Time War. The capsule's engine failed during the trip and the Dalek inside ejected, crashing on Earth. It died shortly thereafter and released only a small amount of the Dalek factor, leading to only 1 in 500 million humans having it. The Tenth Doctor discovered the dead shell which had been a Roman exhibit until the British threw it into some caves and gave the Dalek gunstick to Frank Openshaw. However, the unearthing of the Dalek activated the Dalek factor in Kate Yates who developed a Dalek personality and touched the dead casing, causing her Dalek life force to grow a new Dalek in the casing from the casing's databanks. The Dalek hunted down Frank and killed him to retrieve its gun arm and then went on a rampage, killing many people before finding Kate. When the Doctor arrived, the Dalek offered the Doctor a deal. If he gave it a way to travel in time and space, it would spare Earth and go to another planet to rebuild its race and spread across the universe. If the Doctor refused, it would destroy the Earth. With no way to destroy the Dalek, the Doctor agreed to the deal and provided it with an old time ring he had stored in the TARDIS. The Dalek revealed its plan to be to travel to the year 500 million where humanity was peaceful and had no knowledge of the Daleks. There he'd get Kate to convince the humans to give it the materials it needed to rebuild its race. As the Dalek prepared to exterminate the Doctor, Rose reached out to Kate's human side, trying to get her to fight her Dalek side by reminding her of the good of humanity. After a mental struggle, Kate's human side regained control and she used her Dalek knowledge to set the time ring to self-destruct. The Dalek, trapped by Kate in a force field to protect the Doctor during her mental struggle, was caught in a warp implosion caused by the time ring self-destructing and was atomized. The Dalek factor in Kate then deactivated without the Dalek there to stir it up and she lost everything the Dalek factor had given her including her increased intelligence and Dalek personality. Pros. I am a Dalek. A group of surviving Daleks unleash their proton cannon on 22nd century Earth resulting in all life becoming intangible, unable to touch solids. The plan was that, unable to eat, humans would soon just waste away from the Earth and the Dalek survivors would rebuild warships and attack. The Tenth Doctor used the Krikush to reach the proton cannon. Unhurt by the Daleks' rays, the Doctor made some adjustments and turned the weapon against the Daleks. The humans became solid again and the Daleks with their protective shields were left intangible. The Daleks judged this an unacceptable outcome and self-destructed. Comic. Extermination of the Daleks. One Dalek, trapped in the Matrix under Gallifrey, was encountered by the Twelfth Doctor after Gallifrey's restoration. The Doctor speculated it had been there since the Cloister Wars. It begged to be exterminated when it was ensnared by the Cloister Wraiths. TV. Hellbent.